So The Hangover <laughs> is great because it's a movie about a journey that goes hilariously wrong. As marketers, our job is to make sure that the customer journey goes very, very right. And as fellow marketers here know, the customer experience that we envision for a campaign is usually very different from the mishmash of messaging that actually gets delivered at the end of the day. Not too unlike the blurry mishmash of events that our hangover friends experience. To solve this problem, our sneak Journey AI gives marketers the ability to plan, orchestrate, and optimize these customer experiences. And to show you how, Ben and I are going to play the role of marketers at a leading telecom company, We Telco. I'm going to play the role of a journey manager, and Ben will play the role of an analyst on my team. Right now, we have been tasked with boosting sales for our premium cable and TV bundle. And so let's dive into Journey AI to see how we can do that. So as a marketer, as a journey manager, it is my responsibility to make sure that the customer experience is relevant and engaging for this campaign so that you, know, you don't get on endless Persian rug ads. Um, and so Journey AI gives me a canvas where I can intuitively plan out this experience. As you can see here, all I need to do is add and sequence out steps, which are nicely listed out here, onto the canvas at the different stages that I want to move a customer through. And in this case, I'm starting to, with steps to build awareness and then building out additional steps left to right, ultimately to drive conversion. My plan here is almost complete. I just need to add one more step to actually drive conversion. And unlike the plans that I create in Excel or PowerPoint, every step that I create here is connected to actual content, data, and channel deliveries available across the Experience Cloud. So to do this, I simply need to set what action triggers this step, and then I need to set what channel I want to reach the audience in. It can be email, social, web, paid media, or something else. Uh, because we're talking about conversion here, I'm going to use our checkout page. All right. You're going to seal the deal with this. It's going to be a kick-ass yeah. checkout page. I got it. OK. Um, so here we go. We see the checkout page. And because Journey AI is connected to the solutions, I can also do some very basic content editing here without having to bug the web team or any other channel teams. Uh-huh. Because they're busy. They're busy. Super busy, Kate. <laughs> um, and with that, the step has been created, and my plan is complete. So cool. <laughs> so <And> cool. <laughs> it looks really pretty, too. Um, and now that my plan is complete, I can actually stay in this canvas and send this plan out to all the different marketing experience cloud solutions so that the right channel teams can start to execute on the steps just with the click of a button. And that then eliminates the need for all the endless emails and back and forth attached documents. Once each of these steps has been created and configured by all of the channel teams, I can also use Journey AI to orchestrate the de cross-channel delivery of this experience based on my plan here. And once that goes, I can just sit back and watch this experience run in parallel with all our other We Telco experience campaigns what? <laughs> while I wait for Ben to gather and share insights on the performance. Stephanie, uh I have a question. Yes. How did anyone function without this? <laughs> uh, lots, of, lots of email, lots of uh, phone calls, saving us all time with Journey AI. In other words, life sucks without it. Yeah. Yeah. I, wow. th I think that's accurate. Well, awesome, Stephanie. So I'm an analyst at we.telco. And so it's my job to take the journeys that Stephanie has built and orchestrated and analyze them and make recommendations for optimization. I'm going to be asking questions like, are customers actually following the journey that Stephanie has designed, or are they deviating and going off into their own path? What do they like about the journey, and what do they dislike about the journey? Now, prior to Journey AI, that was a very manual process for me as an analyst. I'd have to go figure out what each one of those touch points is and what the most common ones are. And heaven help me if I want to try to figure out what customers liked and didn't like. Well, we've got a bunch of omni-channel data in Adobe Cloud Platform, and we have the machine learning wisdom of Adobe Sensei. Wouldn't it be great if we could put that together 
and automatically derive the most popular journeys and figure out what's working and what isn't working for our customers. And that's exactly what Journey AI is going to let us do. So here in Analysis Workspace, I can just drag Journey AI over onto my canvas. And then I will have access to all of the journeys that Stephanie has designed. So I've got this plan upgraded journey that we just saw her build. And I can drag it over there. And what's going to happen is that Adobe Sensei is going to crunch through the omni-channel data in Adobe Cloud Platform to derive the most popular journeys for me automatically. Huge time savings for me as an analyst. Uh, and huge insight that I can deliver to Stephanie. So what you see here is the most common journey uh, leading up to upgrading the plan. And you can see that they actually did diverge after they see the in-app notification going from left to right. They actually diverge from what Stephanie laid out. And instead of interacting with the automated assistant, they're hopping out to our website to look for information. Because those touch points are below that center line, I know that they, they were negative. The sentiment around them wasn't positive. Um, so that's an opportunity for Stephanie to improve the journey and make things better for our customers and give them a better experience. But that's not all. Not only is it telling us the journey and what people liked and didn't like, but it uses natural language processing to tell me in plain language what, how it reached the conclusions that, that we see. So I can click on any of these touch points and see how Adobe Sensei knew that it was positive or negative. So the top contributing factors to the upgrade page being negative are that there was an abnormal number of abandonments from here. There's a lot of bounces. There was a circuitous click path, which suggests that people couldn't find the information that they wanted. And this last one is really interesting. They reported a general abhorrence to the media used for the page hero image. And abhorrence? Wouldn't, wouldn't it be great? Uh, what does that mean? strong. <laughs> Very strong. Yeah. Well, that's the beauty of natural language processing. Wow. Um, so wouldn't it be? Abhorrence. What's that? Abhorrence. Abhorrence. I abhorred that part of the journey. <laughs> it's. They Change must have really the journey, not liked please. It. <laughs> so. So cool. <laughs> wouldn't it be great if this were integrated with AEM assets and the Creative Cloud, so that I could actually see the hero image right here in my workflow? Well, we thought of that. So I can click and see that the hero image. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Now you can see That's why. That's abhorrence all right. Unlike my, <laughs> unlike my jacket, the hero image is not on point. Okay. So, that's, come on. so now that I know that, I can go back to, uh, to the Journey AI uh, interface and share this with Stephanie. And it will appear right in her workflow. I can just give her a little message. Hey, Stephanie, let's replace this grotesque image with something a little more inviting. And when I share that, that becomes available for Stephanie inside of Journey AI for her so that she can optimize and improve that grotesque, abhorrent hero image. Right. What if that's a member of Stephanie's family? <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, it's not. Uh, so not offended. Um, <laughs> No, it wasn't. Um, Stephanie didn't create it. it was, it's, it's, <laughs> sure, sure. Blame the creative team. <laughs> um, well, thanks, Ben. Uh, right within my canvas, I do see that there is an alert on the upgrade page step. So let's take a look. And it has the, the insight from Ben and his analysis along with the recommendation. So using the same steps I did before, I can quickly update the content of this upgrade page, specifically going to swap out that image of the, the grumpy man with something that should work a lot better this time around for our audience. And voila, uh, we've updated the experience, we've optimized it, and um, saved our customers from going through a messy, hangover-like journey. And instead, we have enabled WeTelco to give its customers a relevant and effective experience around upgrading to the, our premium bundle. And this was all done through the robust and seamlessly connected planning, orchestration, and optimization capabilities that are in Journey AI and across the Experience Cloud. So if you like what you see here and want to see more innovation around these omni-channel experiences, make sure to hashtag Journey AI. Thank you. Woo! Thank you.